يقول يقول سبحانه وتعالى كاستماع الى التفسير وكثرة النوافل تا ياتي اليقين فلا تكونوا فكأنهم عباد رمضان فياخذون قبورهم وعلموا ان السنه وسلم فتوبوا النساء فتوبوا الى الله فتوبوا الغيب بما حفظ الله ايتها النساء لا يغرقن ما يفعل ايها المؤمنون لعلكم تفلحون دين عبد الله عباد الله فلنصلي ابي صلى الله عليه وسلم this is the last ill fit you'll be observing as head of state. Many people say you are a highly fulfilled Nigerian leader. Is that true? Yes, um, I thank God. And uh, as I said, I'm looking forward to uh, returning to my town as far away as possible from Abuja so that uh, the incoming government will have uh, the time and the space, you know, to uh, take decisions without necessarily having any input from me. I have my eight years and uh, I think uh, I have enough. So what is your message to Nigerians as we prepare to hand over to the next government? Well, Nigerians should appreciate uh, the stability of democracy. Um, Look uh, at what I've observed last election. Ten sovereign governors in their respective states lost the election to the Senate, which means the ordinary Nigerians are appreciating the system, and this is good for the country. So talking about democracy, people are worried over the reported plans by some anti-democratic forces to scuttle a transition program. What can you assure the nation? Well, uh, what I have just said now, you know, explains it. Uh, Nigerians have appreciated the system and they are going to defend it. And the best way they defend it is by voting. They are voting people, they think they will serve them. So nothing will stop the handover? No. God willing, nothing will stop it. Thank you, so Thank you very much.